two, one, two, one, two. Check one. They're partying in Berlin right now, kid. Is that what, is that what they're doing? Yeah, they're like Good thing that. I'm not there. I'm sure right. it, it's got like a techno beat underneath. That's what they were doing over there. Those Europeans, they love the techno. Yeah, man. All right, so they are partying hard in Berlin, baby. But there's not a worse way to start New Year's Eve than getting rejected at the Velvet Ropes. Actually, that's really... That could kill you. Should I use this? It is. It's like when a girl turns you down and turns down your advances in front of a crowd of people. Of course, the worst part is that you can never figure out why that goober in a beret got through the velvet roots and you're still standing in the cold with her date. I've been there. That sounds very, very You know, joining us to give... Yeah. It sounds what? Heady. Goober. In a beret. I made that up right now. But guys, actually, I made it up earlier when I wrote it. But... Joining us now to give you homeschoolers some advice on making the velvet ropes part are club owners Noel Ashman and John Engelbert. All right, everybody start walking. Noel, how you doing? Hi. How are you? Hi. Cody Willard. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you guys. Go ahead. Hi, Trace Hi. Burns. Noel Ashman. Uh, Hi, Noel. Hi, Tracy. How are we got you a, doing? a bouncer Honestly, over here yeah, that uh, is going to stop us. Yeah, uh, this guy's big and tough. I ain't scared of him, though. I don't know. He maybe recognize him. That's Colin Quinn back Whoops. in the house, bouncing us at the bar. That's how you make your money. So, guys, here's the here's really the question. And, and you know, I, 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 first of all, I don't do the if, if I'm not going to get in, I ain't going to the club because I am yeah. not getting rejected from the velvet rope. It happened my first couple of months in New York once or twice, and I never went back because it, it just ain't cool. You really do feel like an idiot. So let's say though, I got a pretty girl on my arm. I come walking up. What do I need to do? I, I, oh. Bouncer in the hood, and oh, I'm like, yeah. yo, we're supposed to be in there, bro. Oh. Cough it up. Is that what I need? Yeah, 20 bucks? Oh, 20 sorry, bucks? you're not on the list, sorry. 20. No, no, no. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm in, man. I'm in. $20. 100? What Where do I need? Been? I, so I haven't gone out since 96, man. Right, tell us. Tell us. What do I need? Well, the pretty girl's the first part. So that should get you Covered. right there. Check. That, that's so the then I one. should charge you. There you go. <laughs> All right, so pretty girl. Thank you, sir. So pretty girl, automatically you're in the bar. Pretty girl's never a problem. Yeah. Right. And so, girl is about the easiest way to get it. So if you're a pretty girl, then you can just go. Yes. All right. Even but what if you're not a pretty list. girl and you, you're with a pretty girl? Because I've, you know, I've actually had a couple of dates over the years, and we didn't get past the velvet rope, man. Maybe they were ugly. Well, they nice. <laughs> it's all relative, Colin. <laughs> it's all relative, man. Wait, but what? But even on a night like tonight, pretty girls who are not on the list still get in? Uh, well, New Year's is a little different. That, is a rough night. Yeah, yeah, part of it's sold out. At the Plum, we keep actually 10% of our missions available for walk-ups. The Plum, P-L-U-M-M. -M. That's a hot place to be tonight, right? I like to think so. Yeah, it's okay. like, seriously, are you guys full, booked out, and can't get in? When, did, when was it booked? A um, ago? Yeah, we booked last, last couple of weeks, got booked up, but we keep 10% available for people who walk up. And now, are you booking bottle service only? Basically now, yeah. Colin, when was the last time you went clubbing? Why did you book? Well, yeah, they should hire me like they hire Britney Spears, 100,000 bucks. I can be the next Misha Bartlett. Uh, She's not going to be able to do her club in Vegas. Missed and then recast. <laughs> Sounds good. Now, are you booked too? We are totally sold out. Do Both you times. have 10% available for walk ups? We have a little less than that, about 5%, I would say. 5% for walk ups. And it's bottle service only? Well, no, you could pay, uh, you know, entrance fee to get in. All the tables are already sold out. Okay, so what do, what, Cody and I don't have plans tonight. Hey, seriously, what are we going to do? i got to get into a club tonight at 1245, man. <laughs> i got a hot date. We're leaving the party downstairs. And for the record, I ain't going to be. I'll be in bed by 1245. But <laughs> let's pretend I wanted to get in the club with my beautiful date, Tracy Burns, tonight. How am I getting in that club, guys? Well, definitely bring your date. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah see, buying a table is always a good way to do it. You know what I do? Colin, you can't stop me. I'll just jump over there. Oh, 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 oh dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He wanted to give the bouncer $20 to get in. I think, actually, that's probably embarrassing at this point, at this day and age. What, what should he be giving the bouncer? <laughs> yeah, give 20's me. not enough. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, that's not enough. I got $2. What should he? Ooh, I take it, but a real bouncer. What should Colin be getting in order uh, to let us in the bar? Well, bribing bouncers usually does not work. Exactly. Usually that'll uh, not offend work. them and it's actually tacky. do the opposite. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's better to <laughs> offer to buy a table and be with a large number of girls. That's usually the best way to do it. All right, so once again, just a, I think we got the point. It's sort yeah. of like the formula for our show. Lots of pretty girls. How about these hip-hop posses? They always come in with 20 guys. Let them That's step enough. to me. I'll drop them all. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a Sith Lord. Up. That's why he's intimidating. Yeah, really. You look like now that, I know. Guys, I'm, this I'm does like, nothing for the women <laughs> tonight, though. You it's just got a girl. It's just got to be pretty. That's, and then I'm, what? I'm hanging out with pretty up. girls. So go to the club. You guys are in. That's the whole point. Yeah. You're a pretty girl. You got a free but pass. But I'm not going to meet pretty girls. I know pretty girls. 
I think you're missing the point. It's all for know. you. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, Tracy. I'm going just for you. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good, Good luck keeping, keeping, keeping out the masses tonight. <laughs> I'm taking down the keeping velvet rope. The I am not an elitist. We want everybody. No, keep those dregs out. Oh, all right. Well, now that we got you into the club to ring in the New Year's, let's talk about how to get your home safe. Joining us from the Ferrari Driving School is Michelangelo Pinto.